All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. It's Friday night. I can almost uh, say that it's Saturday night. <laughs> one, one more day. All right. We'll uh, give a few seconds here as uh, people start to join. Just turning everything on. As you do join, if you would, go ahead and uh, uh, give me a little bit of love. Like the video. Uh, send it to a friend or two. And just uh, give a quick comment in the, uh, in the comment block there. Let me know that you're here. And if you would also, um, uh, if you're uh, in Michigan or some other state, and uh, if you... Uh, uh, well, let's change it up a little bit tonight. So if you've ever used Digize, which is what we're talking about tonight, we'd love to hear that. Also, if you've uh, tried any of the oils that we've talked about uh, so far this week and, and would like to tell us about your experience, we'd love to hear how you're uh, playing with these oils, what kind of impact they're making, uh, if there's any creative ways that, that you have found uh, to have them work for you and, and what you've had them uh, do, go ahead and put that into uh, the comment box as well. So. We'll give another uh, maybe 10 seconds here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, and jump in for tonight. All right, looks like we have uh, maybe a couple of uh, people who've joined us so far. All right, well, we'll go ahead and uh, and get started. Again, welcome. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. Glad that, uh, <laughs> or ho as well. ho de doody uh, Glad that you could join us. So tonight we're going to be talking about this oil right here. It is Young Living's Digize. And uh, we've actually uh, completed all of the single oils in the premium starter kit. And now we're moving into talking about the oil blends, which simply means uh, Young Living with their research scientists have uh, done a lot of testing with the different oils and looked at what these oils can do and, and how they uh, work together. And they've developed blends uh, in specific ratios that's going to really help uh, in certain ways. And so that's where we get uh, oils like the uh, the Diagize, and we also have a ton of other uh, blends. Like I know some of the, the favorites in, in our household, there's Peace and Calming and Stress Away. We'll be talking about Stress Away uh, another day in, or in, in about a week here. And then... Uh, uh, oh man, there's just all, all sorts of them. Uh, so uh, definitely go and, and take a look, but tonight we're going to focus on Digize. So what we're going to do, normally I like to talk a little bit about uh, what's in the oil specifically when we're talking about the single oils, just to give you an idea of chemically what it's doing. There are a ton of oils in this blend. And so uh, rather than going through each one of these individually and telling you here's chemically what's in it, uh, here's why it does it. What I'm gonna do is uh, just run through what oils are actually in this blend and some of what the uh, the Young Living Research scientists have said, this is some of the systems that these oils support. These are the things that uh, uh, that it can be done. Thanks for the, uh, the love, I appreciate that. Um, all right, so in uh, the Digize blend, there is uh, first ginger. And uh, ginger is really helpful to help calm your digestive. Hi, Bill, welcome. And uh, your digestive system, uh, it's really good from that perspective, actually. Uh, hi, Antel. You were in, oh, okay. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you've been with us. Holy cow, 2009 and a close head injury. Thanks for, for sharing that. I'll come back and look more at your, um, at your comment a little bit later. I appreciate you sharing your story with us. Um, so ginger is, is in the Digize. I'm actually, instead of drinking water tonight, I'm drinking a little bit of tea. Uh, my wife and I actually enjoy uh, ginger tea with some uh, uh, local raw honey mixed in with it before we go to bed. So it helps calm the stomach a little bit and, and some other good stuff. But we're not here to talk about ginger, so I'll just uh, get back into the digest. So there is ginger in the digest, which is why I, I mentioned it. Um, and ginger does help calm digestion. There's also, and I'm going to probably slaughter a few of these names, there's anise oil, which uh, helps to calm and strengthen your digestive system. Uh, there's fennel oil, which supports the liver. There's also uh, peppermint, which we talked about the very first night. Um, from a digestive perspective, it actually helps support the prostate and also helps relax muscles. And you know, as you know, when your body is in uh, some sort of state where there's something that's not going quite right, 
uh, what happens is your muscles really tighten up, including the muscles in your digestive system. And so if you're, you know, if you're looking for a little bit of digestive um, comfort, then uh, peppermint can actually help with that. In fact, my wife and I have used peppermint uh, before we were introduced to Digize because our, our first starter kit didn't have that in it. And, uh, you know, uh, peppermint uh, itself will, will help um, uh, with, with digestive issues. Uh, then there's tarragon in uh uh, the digest as well. Tarragon helps to support healthy digestion. There's lemongrass, which uh, helps to support uh, uh, healthy circulation and your lymphatic system. And then there's a very interesting oil called patchouli. Now, patchouli is interesting only because, I have to say this, some people love the smell and some people hate the smell. Um, so it just really depends on, on who you are. But there's a little bit of that. What patchouli does from this perspective is it helps in the detox process. And so if you have a problem with your digestive system, if it's not uh, fully healthy, probably some of what's going on is uh, a little bit of, um, of uh, toxins in, in your system that your system has stuff in it, it shouldn't have. And so uh, working to detox the system is going to help with that anyway. And then there's also juniper in this one. And juniper helps to support healthy kidney function. So those are the different oils that are in this. Now, I want to go back and talk about a couple of them in, in a little bit more detail, only because there's some things that I want to make sure that you know. So there's several warm oils in uh, in this mix. And so ginger is a warm oil. We already know that peppermint is a warm oil and lemongrass. Uh, all three of those are warm oils. And so the reason why I mention that is because if you choose to use digestion uh, topically, then what's going to happen is, is you may feel it getting warm, okay? And so I just want to make sure that you, uh, especially as we talk about some of the places where you might want to use Digize, uh, just if it starts getting warm on you, just know that that's normal because it has some, some warm oils in it. So when we think about uh, how to use it, uh, it is uh, one of those oils that's available in the normal as well as in the Vitality. And again, the Vitality is the same great oil, but the FDA has approved it for ingestion in the United States, so you can ingest it. Um, but we'll just start at the top. So aromatically, stick it in diffuser, stick it on a you know a diffuser necklace or in a diffuser bracelet, something of that nature. You can diffuse it, and that helps. And some of um, as I was reading, because I've actually never diffused Digize, because I don't particularly love the smell of, of Digize, but it works really well for for some things for me. Um, and so if if you like the smell of it and you want to diffuse it, that's fine. It can uh, actually help uh, just relax mood as well uh, as, as work in the digestive system. And so, um, you know, give it a try. Try some different things. Um, but then you can also use it topically. And uh, so most of the people I know either A, use it topically, or B, uh, use it for ingestion. So I want to talk about both those. Topically, um, what you want to do with it is uh, if you're looking to help support digestive or calm a digestive system that's not really calm right now, uh, what I'd recommend doing, and, and some of what I've heard other people do, put it on your hand, uh, just a couple of drops, and then... Um, See if I can do this for you in the right way. Uh, put uh, put it on your abdomen in a uh, some uh, in a I'm sorry a counterclockwise uh, motion. Just rub it on. You don't need to you know rub it on really hard. Just you know rub it on and then um, you know wait. And again, one of the great things about these oils is for most people you can't uh, you can't overdose on them. And so if you put it on and you go okay that was a little bit it helped a little bit but didn't help as much as I was looking for it to you know in about 15 20 minutes go ahead and put some more on. And I, I only say wait for that 15 or 20 minutes because for the oils to get in, topically, they get in very quickly. Three to five seconds, they've penetrated the skin, they've gotten into your blood system. To reach every cell of your body and start doing what it's uh, intended to do takes about 20 minutes to happen. And so wait that 15 or 20 minutes, see what the full effect is, and then you know put more on if, if you need to. Um, so putting it on your abdomen is, is a good way to put it on. Uh, also putting it on the VitaFlex points on your feet. If you're not familiar with, with VitaFlex, points. Um, I'll, I'll give you just a really brief uh, idea of what it is. On your feet, there are different points that work with different systems of your body. And so you can use a little bit of a massage technique along with some oil, and you actually start really impacting that system of your body right through your feet. So if you want to learn more, just go and Google it. Uh, VitaFlex points, and, and you should be able to find some uh, information there. Also, from a digestive uh, perspective, um, we all know that sometimes digestion doesn't just stay in the stomach. 
sometimes it you know comes up a little bit so you can also put that on the base of your neck and so I actually did that earlier uh, this evening and uh, found that it was really good for me I that's the first time I've actually used it there you normally I put it on my stomach um, I also tried it ingesting today which we'll talk about in a minute um, but right there on the bottom of, of uh, your neck uh, for me that's a little bit sensitive of an area and so I started noticing that it was warming up a little bit and, and I went back home and I'm like right it's got peppermint in it and a couple of other warm oils so you know it wasn't highly uncomfortable just like huh I wasn't expecting it to uh, to get warm so just you know be aware uh, if you put it on a sensitive area like the base of your neck it may get a little bit warm it's fine if it gets uncomfortable for you uh, just put some uh, v6 oil on it from young living or some uh, organic coconut oil you know so, some sort of carrier oil and that should help uh, alleviate that and and speaking of that if you've never had the experience of putting a, a warm oil where you don't intend it to be and, and wondering okay will these carrier oils actually work I, I have a story so I hadn't experienced that until this week and I put some uh, peppermint actually on my wife's uh, back one morning this week and then I came out every morning I read with my son and before we have breakfast and he goes to school and uh, man I just felt like there was something you know like in the corner of my eye so I went to go uh, clean it out and it had been probably 10-15 minutes and all of a sudden my eye started getting a little bit warm and I was like huh that's a, a little bit uncomfortable and my wife was like well you just put peppermint on me and I was like oh and so I you know I uh Yes, Bill. I, the warm oils are fantastic for for the back. So uh, you know, I let it go, and I was like, "Well, you know, I'll just blink a lot, and maybe flush it out that way." It kept getting a little bit worse. And I was like, "Would you bring me some coconut oil?" I took just a little bit of that coconut oil, put it right in the corner of my eye where I had touched, and it was almost instantaneous and started uh, relieving it, and, and no problem. So if you put a warm oil where you don't intend it to. Carrier oils, fantastic to take care of that for you. All right, so back to this. Uh, topically, as well as uh, ingestively and, and probably aromatically, um, I do want to give a couple of warnings, and then we'll talk about how to ingest Digize. Uh, there's, I, as I was doing some research, there's a couple of, of groups of people that we want to be careful with using Digize. One is pregnant women, and the other one is uh, people with epilepsy. Okay, And so with pregnant women uh, specifically, uh, some of the warnings I read said be very careful with it. If you're going to use it, use the on the outsides of your ears like once a day uh, in the morning and that can help uh, ease your stomachs you know you know what I'm talking about and uh, and, and that um, the reason for that is because one of the oils in it uh, fennel um, I haven't done all the research we could take a whole class just uh, looking at fennel and and why you have to be careful with that one but that one is the one in the blend that causes a little bit of issue with both pregnant women and people with epilepsy so just please be careful with that be aware of who you're recommending it to know that there is um, some cautions about using it with with those groups of people okay all right let's talk about ingestion so digest ingestion so uh, you know again before today I had not uh, ingested it most of the recommendations I had seen is is to ingest it so it can be used uh, both in an acute manner when you're looking to uh, in a short time and short term uh, calm your digestive system uh, but it can also be used as a daily dietary supplement which is some of what uh, I saw a lot of recommendations for and so uh, no matter how you're going to use it uh, put it in a gel cap uh, two drops you know one to two drops in a gel cap take that uh, you can also put it in water or you can stick it right under your tongue you know any of those uh, ways of, of ingesting it is is going to be fine and until I know what you're going to ask and I have a question or not a question but I have an answer for you so if you put the oils under your tongue one drop under your tongue is equivalent to about seven drops in a gel cap uh, ingested. So one to seven. Okay, there's your answer for you. <laughs> Hope that that helps. So um, all of those ways are, are good to, to take it. So part of it is, you know, do you just, do you like the flavor of it? Do you not? And so um, I didn't have any gel caps around. So this morning I said, hmm, I could use a little bit of calming in, in, my, uh, in my digestive system. So I took a, a glass and I put two drops of um, of uh, digize one drop of peppermint so I had a little bit of extra peppermint in there with about four ounces of water and and I drank that and my wife was watching me and she was like well what do you think and I said you know it's not too bad um it I'll be honest it wasn't like drinking lemon water I love drinking lemon water I'm pretty good with drinking ginger tea uh the digize I don't know that I'd want to take it you know all the time it wasn't my favorite drink but you know it wasn't bad and so if I'm trying to support my digestive system absolutely you know, it, it wasn't so bad. I was like, oh, no, I can never take that. I will warn you. So Digize has peppermint in it, and I put additional peppermint in it. So I wasn't thinking about this. I drank my water, and immediately, 
my lips started tingling a little bit. So just be aware if you decide to drink it in, in some sort of drink, uh, and especially if you put additional peppermint in it, you might get a little bit of, of tingling on your lips. It only lasted for me about five minutes. Um, but, you know, just be aware of what's in your oils and uh, what you may expect to um, – uh, uh, to use uh, or to get back out of that. Uh, you, you know, I also saw that you can put it in some tea. Uh, so if you like warm beverages over cold beverages, you can put it in tea with uh, maybe a little bit of uh, honey. I saw several recommendations about just mixing, you know, one drop in like a teaspoon of honey, one to two drops and using it that way. So there's lots of ways that you can use it to ingest. With Diagize, what I would tell you is um, either topically on your abdomen at the base of your neck, um, potentially on your VitaFlex points or ingesting it. Those, uh, the, the ingestion and the topical are probably the best ways to help support your, um, your digestive system using this particular oil blend. Again, you can use it aromatically if you really like the smell of it, um, you know, but if you're looking for, for that digestive support, that's going to be more effective in, in this case. So we are at about 16 minutes and I feel like I've been rambling here. I'm just making sure, yep, we covered that. We've covered all of my notes, which is fantastic. So I'd love to hear from you. What uh, what questions do you have on Digize or any other oil that we've talked about so far this week or or potentially um, anything else in terms of using your oils and, and how to use them effectively? I'd like to uh, turn it over to you. So go ahead and, and chat in on the uh, comments section. We'd be happy to to answer any questions for you. I'm going to take a drink of my ginger tea while I'm waiting here. So enjoy watching me drink my tea. <laughs> I love the delay in the uh, in the video. I feel like I'm waiting here forever just to see if there's any uh, any questions. All right. Well, while I'm waiting, just in case somebody's typing something, uh, I will tell you. Uh, so tomorrow. Oh, Antel, I love your question. Are we going to have more sessions when this 14 day is over? Yes! Yes, we are. Um, I love doing these sessions. I love doing the research and sharing with you what we're experiencing. We use so much uh, oil in, in our house that I just can't wait to share with everybody. Well, thank you, Antel. I, I appreciate that. Um, so probably uh, maybe early next week, uh, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm actually going to put up a poll right here on uh, this event page for the 14-day challenge, uh, as well as uh, maybe on our um, on our Facebook page, just with some topics uh, that we're looking at that I would love to get some feedback of, of what you guys want to learn. So, you know, the 14-day challenge was really kind of a nice place to start, get uh, some insight as to the oils that, that we have. Uh, beyond that, uh, you know, I want to work with you guys. So it's not about what I know, but really about what, what you need to learn, what's going to help support you in, in your oil journey as well. So um, I'll let you know early next week when we get that uh, that uh, survey. There we go, that poll up so you can go in and participate in it and uh, we can start working toward the next, uh, the next class. Probably take a little bit of time off uh, between now and then. And so I'll also look at some ways that uh, you can sign up and uh, make sure that you're notified when we do have more classes. But absolutely, we are planning to do uh, many more classes on, on Facebook like this. We love it because we've got two kids. We can't always get sitters to go do classes or to attend classes. And so, you know, this really works well for us. And uh, I know that we're not the only people in this kind of uh, situation that's hard to get to some of the uh, physical classes. So, so we love being able to, to handle this, or not handle this, but to provide this for you. So thanks for that question, Antel. Oh, thanks, Jill. I appreciate that, uh, that compliment there. Perfect. Well, if there's no other questions about Digize, you know, definitely give it a try. Um, it doesn't hurt you. So even if you don't feel like you need digestive, uh, play with it. Just see what it does. See how it smells, you know, if you've never cracked it open and, uh, you know, see what it does for you. So cool. Well, I appreciate everybody uh, joining us this evening. So we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, before you go, I do want to tell you tomorrow, I'm so excited. Thieves, one of, uh, I, 
all of them are our favorite oils here in, in the Decker household, but we really like Thieves. Uh, so we'll talk about Thieves. We'll also maybe talk about some of the other products that have Thieves in it. So be sure that you uh, come tomorrow at 9 o'clock. We'll go live. And of course, if you can't make it uh, tomorrow at 9, it will be recorded. So come back, watch it, share it with your friends. If you know anybody who's got kids or who just doesn't really like uh, using cleaners or, you know, wants to make sure their, their bodies stay healthy and fights all the little yucky things that don't make us feel very good, uh, they want to come tomorrow to, to talk about thieves. So I'll just give you that. And with that, I bid you adieu and good night. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.